So last week, I shared with you a story about the messy middle, if you will. I talked about a house that we had multiple offers on. We went under contract, and then the buyer found out they were being relocated to Georgia, right? And so we were told by the agent that they're going to have to terminate the contract. Well, let me finish that story for you because it is really turned into quite the interesting tale. By the end of the day that day, the agent had called me back and said, the buyers are going to go through with the purchase of this home. They're going to work out some details with him commuting or whatever. But yeah, they're going to go through with the purchase. We got the appraisal scheduled to be done the next day. The appraisal came back. Value was good. No repairs needed. We're moving forward. We were supposed to close on February the 20th, which was a week from yesterday. Got a call yesterday from the other agent that the buyers have decided to cancel the contract. No real reason given other than they're just not going to buy the house right now. We've already been through inspection. We've got the title work back. We've got the appraisal done. We're ready to close in a week's time. And the buyer canceled. So, I told the buyer's agent, I'm hoping that you have informed them they will lose their earnest money, which was only $500 because we knew this was an FHA buyer. That's just the way it works. You know what I'm saying? So, that was a conversation that I had to have with my seller yesterday morning before 9 o'clock. I know you have moved most of your stuff into a new place. I know you have turned utilities on at a new place. But unfortunately, we are going to have to go back on the market. And, you know, people think that being a realtor is such a great job. And we talk about all the fun times and helping a seller get a home under contract, helping a buyer get a home under contract, just selling the home. But those are the good times. But you also have to be the bad guy sometimes. You have to be that person who ruins someone's day by calling and telling them, hey, your buyer's backed out. And I dreaded the phone call, but it had to be made. So I knew my seller was going to be in tears, and she was. She was very devastated. So I put the home on Facebook and basically said, Flaky Buyer has backed out the week before closing, title work done, appraisal done, and asked people to share the listing so that we could try to get it back under contract as quickly as possible for my seller. And in about three and a half hours, we had 31 shares of that post on Facebook. And there were people sharing from the people they saw that had shared it. So I'm not sure how many times it got put out on Facebook yesterday. You may have seen it. But within 45 minutes, I want to say, of posting that, I got a cash offer in my email from another agent. And it's a person who they typically buy homes and renovate them and flip them. Um, but they also do have some rental property, so I think they're buying this one as an investment property to rent out. So it was not quite what we were asking for it, but we were able to negotiate with this person, get the home under contract at a price that worked for the buyer and a price that worked for my seller. The buyer waived all inspections, and we are still going to close next Tuesday. So we have a happy ending, but there was a lot of angst and a lot of stress that went on in my office and in the seller's house yesterday. And unfortunately, that is a part of real estate. Not all deals go smoothly. Not all deals go to closing with the buyer. And hindsight's twenty twenty. Looking back, we had multiple offers when we selected theirs to go to closing with. And looking back, we should have picked a different offer. We might have already been closed by now. So... That's a day in the life of a realtor.